little blues on this uh, Friday, uh, rainy Friday afternoon here in Nashville. Man, uh, I know it's been a minute. It's, uh, I always say this, but it's so hard to stay on schedule with this YouTube stuff. Uh, thanks for sticking with me here, folks. Uh, means a lot to me. Uh, that was a little just improv kind of blues stuff. As I always say, no extra charge for mistakes. This is a 1966 Fender Telecaster that a buddy of mine owns that I'm kind of checking out here. Uh, pretty cool guitar. Been refretted, plays really good. Um, and so uh, I thought I'd do a little shootout, play a little bit on the blue one, on the Dano Caster, and play a little bit on this one too. Um, but I wanted to give you like five or so. I'm not saying it's going to be um, uh, limited to five. It, I, it's possible that I could do more here. I'm just saying five, my five favorite blues licks. Um, but man, this kind of style is one of my favorites. I mean, just these, you know, marking the chords, playing the nice one, four, five with a few little, you know, the, the, the B7, that little quick, so it's like a two, F sharp, seven, to the five, to the one, just a little turnaround if I'm going. Nice little kind of a Delta Blues, old school kind of trick there. But as far as some of these cool little, just, I uh, wanted to give you guys something fun today on a Friday. There's been a lot going on. There's some great stuff to be announced soon that I can't really talk about yet, but um, I hate to say it like that, but it's true. Uh, you guys are going to love this stuff that's in the works. And so um, had a great weekend with, or uh, Monday, Monday with Oz Noy and Tuesday spent with Oz, went to Belmont and watched his clinic. And uh, he came and sat in with the trio on, uh, on um, Monday night with the, with over at the underdog. So I'll, I'll Probably post a little bit of that. I've been enjoying doing these uh, little kind of photo and video highlights of the week or month um, at the end of these videos. So stick around for that at the end. Um, just for fun to share you guys a little bit of what it's like living in the neighborhood here. But um, man, um, so let's get in like A7 here. Let's get in A7. I'm just going to show you, you might have seen some of these on the channel before and and stuff like that, but I just want to show you and really simplify what these are. So if I'm going from the one chord to the four chord, I might just do this to outline the D7. I might go. And then from there, you're in Mixolydian dominant seven territory with the D7. So if I go A7, straight blues lick, but I'm going from that G, That's the harmony behind it is that flat seven is leading you to the major seven of the D7 chord. So if I go. Right. I'm just walking chromatic. It's a fancy way of going. Right. So uh, if you're over the five chord. Do the same thing, and then you're right there. Four, one. All right, so if I go. over the four chord the five that's using that cool dominant seven scale over the major uh the dominant seven chord and it comes from all the arpeggios it's so hard for me not to get into the theory because i want you guys to know where it's coming from but that's the sound um another one of my favorite blues licks going to the four chord um kind of an Albert King lick, right? So I'm bending up from the five to the uh, major third-ish of the four. Right? So that takes you right to the fourth. So if I'm playing over the, the A blues... on that. It's a 
a great little bend, right? So that's one. Another one is the kind of Delta Blues style is this kind of thing. Where I'm playing the big G-shaped A chord, but walking down that seven. If I go to the five, with that right so that's another one that cool little a7 and you can see I'm pinching with my middle finger those cool little voices, right? You can play around with that one, four, five all day long. That's a good one. Uh, here's another one of my favorite ones I stole from Ronnie Earl over the E. Stole that from uh, the buddy that owns this guitar and Ronnie Earl. So it's, uh, you know, if you're going uh, right out of the chord, walk up to the major third, flat seven, and then just adding the harmonies. Reoccurring shapes are so incredible. Watch. Back to E, if you want to do it here. Right, these little because this would be major, this would be dominant seven. Okay, this leads me to my other favorite blues lick is this kind of Robert Johnson trick. Watch this there's an E7 because there's E, there's E7, there's the root, there's a diminished. By the root stays the same, but this triad moves back a half step. So, I'm using a little rhythm with my right hand. You can also use this, do this groove, which is really cool. So uh, that gives you something there. 
Let's see, another great lick. You've seen this one before, but this is, I get a lot of mileage out of this one, and it's a great way to start outlining the dominant seven. So if I'm in an in a, a E9, any of the nine chords, one, four, five, out of the A shape, watch. Shuffle chord, great uh, E9 chord. There's your four, there's your five, there's your one. Now these don't work great. They work really well in this nice tight voicing for shuffles. Because here's your four. Right? It's great when that's the one chord. Five, four, one. you want but I like those nice little tight voicings there um, here's an Albert King lick <laughs> territory lick right there so it's like I call that a stinger so that's like minor pentatonic then major minor ending on that major and utilizing that six so in the key of A so a stinger really feeling that, right? Trying to. To your to your D chord, right? So all this stuff around here. That's mixing that major and minor and the sixes and stuff and the twos. Really, really, really cool. Guys, I wanted to give you a couple licks. I don't do that very often, but uh, it's lick day here uh, Friday afternoon in East Nashville. Thank you all so much. Everybody that comes in from out of town and comes to the underdog, man, this is uh, coming and becoming a really well-known uh, uh, scene here. And so uh, we had Billy Gibbons last Monday. We had Osnoy this past Monday. We've got Marty Schwartz coming this Monday. And these are just guys that are hanging in the neighborhood and in town doing stuff. They're not. This is not scheduled per se. So if you come to town, check that out. Uh, not in Germany, obviously. Uh, we had some stuff uh, get moved around schedule-wise, so I stayed here. 
which is great to get some projects done and continue with all the education stuff and the projects. The guitar, East Nashville Guitar Club. Follow that on Instagram, East Nashville Guitar Club. You can find that on mine. Follow Instagram. Check out the links below. Thanks for the uh, very generous tip donations. That's always a, a bonus and a motivator. Uh, and i um, looking forward to getting back on schedule. Uh, positivity, love, motivation. Let's keep it all going. Um, it can be challenging at times, especially when it gets a little cooler outside and all this stuff. Holidays. Oh my God, it's all coming. Uh, <laughs> anyway, thanks a bunch, guys. Always good to hang out with you. And uh, like I said, check the links below. And thanks for all the support. We'll see you guys soon. Much more to come. I know I didn't get to the blue Telecaster, but we'll do that on the next video. We'll do the, the Tele shootout. I got another Dano caster down there uh, that my buddy has. That we'll do the whole the whole Tele the Tele trio. All right, guys. See you soon. Bye. <laughs>
sell it, I had to get a higher on the neck. <laughs> Gave up. <laughs> but they sound really beautiful. Well, we have them with the uh, longer neck, too. Yeah. Uh, so. I'm actually just looking for old strats, but. Uh, 